Okay guys, it's been an absolute crazy day, but I picked something up which should be... Well, I would never pick it up for my business, but I thought it, it will make a great YouTube project. So, what I did is, once again, bought a load of old computers. One is without a PSU. All of them, 100 bucks. Will it be worth it? Hmm. Probably not. But, I don't know. Let's make a cool YouTube video out of it. Alright, so yesterday I had hardly any time to look at these things. I just loaded them up and headed back home. So, let's just do a first inspection of what we got. We got eight in total. I am not digging the Windows Vista stickers. That means these things are old. Probably a little too old. So uh, what actually set me off to buy those were not those. I didn't know about the Windows Vista. It was more about the others, which had Windows 7 stickers. So there is one with Windows 7. Seems to be a whole load of those, which uh, I don't know really. Fujitsu Siemens. And some more over there. I'm gonna put them out of the car, line them all up and see what we got. Here's what we got. We got four of these, Fujitsu Esprimos, and three of these, which are also Fujitsu's, but newer and not too bad. They even have a Core i3. So that's it's actually not too bad, guys. This one's missing the screws. So that means they've been inside, which I don't like to see actually. Okay, I don't see a hard drive. Well, that's fine actually, a little dusty, but no. Uh, to be expected. We see RAM, that's good. Everything's there, that should make it fire up. I suppose the CMOS is gonna be dead. But yeah, let's see if it fires up. Now that I connected the monitor, hooray, it posts, hooray. It doesn't have something to boot from, which is obvious, it doesn't have any, anything. Okay, it posts, that's very good. We have a working PC. Now, I guess companies, they do remove the hard drives for data security reasons, makes sense. So yeah, apart from that, we have a working PC. Okay, the PC number two has a hard drive, but it has no RAM for whatever reason. There seem to be a lot of people removing RAM from like bulk of PCs and then selling the RAM or something, which uh, it's kind of a shit thing to do because this is company property and they just steal from it. But that's what people do apparently. I stole this two gigabyte module from the fully working one. so. The other one has four gigabytes of RAM with this, had four gigabytes, now it has two. And so this is a uh, PC3. And I do think I have some PC3 uh, modules, which I can use. So uh, we'll do that later and see if it works first. Okay, let's put in, well, this looks like it hasn't been powered on in a long time. It's eager to live. Why do I keep forgetting having monitor? Uh, I'm gonna really quick try the other RAM slot, just ruling out stuff, but I think we got a different problem here. So this one hasn't been opened from the looks. I mean, I can't be sure. Maybe somebody just put the screws back in, but at least they still have the screws. Oh, okay, need a bigger screwdriver. Uh huh. I never found pens inside of a computer yet, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, it looks to be complete, but I guess it looks really old. This looks, yeah, like, you know, from the Windows Vista era. Oh boy. I know you want to see if it works, and so do I, so let's see. Jesus. Well, this one isn't as loud as a fighter jet for once. Hey! Cool! It works! There you go. It's repairing to boot. Of course the old chunker one works. <laughs> hey, it runs Windows 7! Cool! This is the first one to actually boot up. It runs Windows 7 Pro? I hope it's activated. That would be even better. 
Press control delete. Oh no, that's like a company computer. Yeah. There you go. Ah! <laughs> it was a school computer because NMS means Neue Mittelschule in Austria. Like new middle school or whatever. It's a stupid name. It doesn't exist anymore because it got old eventually. <laughs> I don't know. It was a real name, yes. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's what it was. So this was a school PC. Unfortunately, Isabella uh, didn't re delete her data or like his, her account. So uh, you'd have to crack the account, which you could do or it could reinstall. So since this is a school computer, we for sure have an activated Windows 7 on here, which is sweet. So here we got a problem with another school computer. And I don't know what the hell is going on with these PCs, but there's another pen in there. So there were probably like some funny children like sticking their pens or something in the, the vents or something and then it, uh, they were gone. So yeah, there you go, another free pen. So probably gonna make my 100 bucks back in pens alone. Probably gonna work as well. Or not, turn off. I don't know. This probably works as well. Yeah, there you go, even without an error. Windows 7 booting right up. Alright. Um, but it works. So, <laughs> can't complain. I'm actually very happy. This is probably the best lot I've bought so far. Well, I wonder what that's gonna be. Probably some more pens. Uh, why does nobody ever like throw some money in it? That would be funny. And see what's in there. Yeah. <laughs> we have a floating ram stick. So here, uh, it's not looking too good actually. We have uh, another pen, of course, obviously. Come standard with those. Uh, what is that? Another pen thing. And we got a RAM stick down here. Two gigabyte RAM stick, which I hope it just fell out for whatever reason. Or like somebody was funny and put it out. At least it's still here. So I'm going to put it back where it came from. <laughs> that one works as well. These things are really unkillable, huh? They live through hard life of being a school computer. I mean, pens thrown inside them and stuff and still works fine. So there you go. Three out of four so far working. Can I be mad? Not at all, guys. Is it so much to ask for to show me the darn processor in the bias? Like there's everything except what processor we actually have. I hope it's at least the Core 2 Duo because if it's like some old school Pentium, I don't know if I'd bother with this, but yeah, uh, at least it works, guys. So um, that's cool, I suppose. So let's see what pens we have in this one. Uh, what? Where are my pens? Hey, that's not what I signed up for here. We only have some old paper and some really nasty shit in there, but not really a pen. <laughs> so this is the first one, which doesn't come with a pen, unfortunately, but. We have RAM in it, we have a hard drive. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing. See if that one works, I got a pretty good feeling. Let me just take this out here. <laughs> Don't let your other folks down. Yes, there you go. We, it boots again. Why did I have any doubt? Man, these old ones are pretty, pretty good. They work. Folks, I really have to say, you know, I thought those are like, you know, old and not worth anything and then they're broken and then they're most definitely not worth anything and not even worth touching. But since all of them work, it'd be a waste to throw those out, really. So I'm gonna have to come up with something. So that's what we got so far. We got a working one with a weird PSU noise, two gigabytes of RAM and no hard drive. Then we got this one, which there's a post and then this completely empty one, which is only left with uh, motherboard CPU basically. And we got four working school PCs. All of them two gigabytes of RAM, all of them Windows 7, all of them hard drives. What I think I'll do is I'll try to make one good one out of those. 
Uh, I think I have enough parts and maybe I can get even a second one going. Maybe if I uh, try to boot this one up with a PSU, maybe it will work. I think, you know what, that's what we're gonna try. Um, and uh, yeah, make one good one out of those and you know, keep a random one around. I mean, this is an old i3, it's nothing fancy at all, but if I put Windows 10 on this and give it a little RAM upgrade, it should be a good office PC for somebody out there. Uh, so I feel good about that. On those, I really don't know, guys, because I have no idea what CPUs they have. I suppose they have all the same, uh, but Windows 10 is probably pushing it a bit on those, regardless of what we have. But since all of them are working, I might just do it. Maybe get like a good deal on some used PS2 RAM and then bring it all up to four. And then it would, uh, it would work okay-ish, but uh, those are on the back burner for now. Still, I'm not gonna give up on those. Those are way too good to be thrown out. So I'm just looking at what our pretty seriously injured patient needs here. Needs desperately a power supply. And I found uh, actually a couple of, so. I mean, this was a, it's a pretty old ass part of supply. Uh, it's like 185 watts and who knows how old, probably 20 years. This one is 460 watts. That should be more than powerful. And that one, oh, it's even farther from nicer. I don't know if that works, but I think that's the one we'll do. Let's see if uh, the pin layout works on this. Uh, Needs a longer one. Okay. That that has it. That should be okay. We're gonna do it with this then. Found another random SATA cable, which we will also need because we don't have a drive. And uh, also some RIN there should be PS PC2 RAM. So yeah, we're gonna try to put all those parts together and see if this guy boots. Actually, guys, this thing is so modern, it has PC3. So, wow. I put a four gigabyte module in here and I'll put in the PSU and see if it works. Okay, we got my random old power supply installed. We got RAM, we got a keyboard hooked up. It should be okay. Let's see if it works. Come on. Uh, it can't be my old power supply, that's working fine, I suppose. Hey, hey, hey! It works! And guess what happened? My RAM stick is bad, so that goes to the trash. I tried it with the one I know which works, and it fired right up! So, there you go! Another one fixed! I like what I'm seeing, guys. I really do. So, yeah, let's see if I have some more... PC3 RAM laying around uh, and not use this one. <laughs> so I've used this thing as a little bit as my RAM testing machine and uh, I found some more PC3 RAM laying around. So that's good. So what I'll do now guys, is I'll give the one which didn't post another shot with this RAM stick, which I know works. So maybe, you know, this other one just is a bad RAM stick. Very likely, it can happen. So, uh, let's see. Still doesn't work with this RAM stick, but I spotted something. Now, what I spotted was, I don't know, but is this supposed to be like this? I highly doubt it, guys. Did somebody at one point remove this uh, heat sink and maybe not See that the processor correctly because this could be it could be an error related to a not correctly seated processor, <laughs> or it could be a whole dead motherboard. That's the only two uh, like real reasons. Uh, I mean, it also could be the power supply, but then it would probably not do anything. So I'm gonna unscrew this heatsink and see what's up there. So on first glance, it looks all good actually, just a little dirty. Um, let's check out this guy here. Nothing I could have spotted, honestly. <laughs> Just a little dirty. 
There you go. Seated correctly. Maybe in this case, we do have a dead motherboard. I'll of course screw it in later, but I just want to see if it magically fixed it now. Nah, still blows. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So it's not the RAM, it's not really the processor, like it could be, but it's very unlikely. So probably is the board. Oh well. So I just tried uh, quickly with another power supply, just ruling that out as well and still didn't, still didn't work. So yes, uh, I'd say seven out of eight computers working. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I can create two really good ones, like relatively good ones, with the one I put the power supply in and the one which has this weird PSU noise. Uh, I'll just use this one, which, you know, this doesn't make a noise. And this one will be, will be just a spare parts machine. And yeah, uh, I like what I, what I achieved today. I didn't expect that I'm going to have seven computers working out of eight. That is a record. I've never had such luck with a PC lot before. So my plan for today is, since it's pretty late now, I'll... Uh, Take this home, put on a movie and install Windows 10 on it um, and then clone it for that one. So because those are identical, it should work. So I'm going to save myself a little time there and possibly upgrade the RAM on this already because I've got some RAM sticks laying around. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. So we can create like one good one. To my surprise, None of them throw me a CMOS battery error, so that's also good. Something I also didn't expect. CMOS batteries are also good. Um, I think I did pretty well on this. So I'll put in the RAM, um, take this back home, probably put an SSD in this because I got some spare SSDs and it will make a good office machine for someone. Okay, last thing I did for today, I put in a 240 gigabyte brand new SSD. Uh, this one will wait. Um, until I come back with the SSD for it. And yeah, that's it for today. Okay, so this is all there is to this little thing. We've got here power plug, USB cable, which we don't need actually. And yeah, that's, that's really all about it. So what you do is you uh, put in here HDA and here HDB. So this is in my case HDB, we'll put that in. Well, it's actually an SSD, but whatever, right? Did, did this work? I guess it did. You can also put the, the big ones in there, the three and a half. All right, now let's get that one. You know, I can't even test if it worked, the cloning, because now I don't have a working PC. Okay, update for you guys. It's pretty chilly h degrees in here but that doesn't stop me so i have here a pc which is almost complete um i have here it's ssd it has four gigabytes of ram the power supply which i had which works brilliantly i had it running now for half an hour or something um and yeah the cloning worked all i will do now is um replace the thermal paste because it's uh, you know probably dried up non-existent uh put the ssd in its place and yeah cleaned out a bit and then, then we're done with this one the other which uh, is back home needs a power supply same as this this is the one which probably works i thought it had a problem but it probably works fine it just needs a power supply and so um i will today if the guy messages me back pick up um for 10 bucks a power supply which is easily powerful enough for those components and so then i can get that to work and I think I still have one power supply around. So yeah, I will see. Um, I'm gonna finish this one off so it's done. And yeah, then I can move on to the others. Oh, and I have to connect the <laughs> optical drive still, but yeah, we'll do that in a second. Probably all of the PCs will be fine. They will probably all work um, if I have the power supplies. So. I like that. That's that's good news. So yeah, let me get on with the show 
and yeah i'll update you when something interesting happens but so far it's going really good here you have finally the shiny core i3 second gen it's surprisingly good still it's far better than first generation in my opinion so that's gonna stay in there i mean you can pick up you know cheap i5s and i7s all day long but guys for what this is probably gonna be used it doesn't matter now something rather funny happened the other week somebody was interested in a laptop and the dvd drive in it didn't work and i didn't check it it was my fault yes and like he brought a dvd and tried to play it and didn't play he's like sorry mate uh i need it i need the dvd so uh i'm sorry you know can't do it and i was absolutely fine with that because he needed it obviously but it's just like i'm so used to people not even bothering with optical media anymore that they didn't even think to test this damn drive because nobody ever uses it so guess what i'll do i'll test the fucking dvd drive let's put in that dvd I hope that it reads it and if it does you're good yes after reboot it recognized the drive so that's all it needed i declare this one done what i'll do put the panel back on put the sticker away and then this is done guys replace thermal paste working power supply ssd upgrade four gigabytes of ram you know for an office machine adequate so that's good three more to go so this is the one that never turned on ever um I still need to screw down the heatsink, but first I want to see if uh, it works with this power supply. I don't know if this power supply is any good, but I guess. Um, and so it even has a hard drive, the one which had a hard drive of those three. And so, yeah, let's boot it up. Maybe it even boots into something. And um, when, if it works, I'll screw this down with new thermal paste. And yeah, um, we'll see. Maybe I can get it working. I saw something yes we brought it back windows 7 is booting okay yes <laughs> we got all of the computers working that's something i never thought i'd achieve with this again i thought this was a whole pile of junk because it was so cheap and no with power supplies they're all back i don't know how much ram it has now because i just put some random sticks in that i had but yeah, it has Windows 7 that needs erasing anyway. So my plan for this is, of course, uh, shut it down so it doesn't torture its CPU even more. But it's cold in here, don't worry. <laughs> um, my plan with this is to check the HDD. Um, if it's good, I guess it has a lot of use hours, so it might be bad or like on its way out. So I'm going to check that and check its size because I have literally no idea and uh, then clone windows 10 on here because i am running low on ssds now and i don't want to use this one because that's for a different project there's nothing to do with this whole thing what i also like about those project is i can use up my chunk like my crap pile because this is all stuff i would have thrown out like thrown away because you know i, I was like who needs another whatever power supply whatever you know but when I have projects like this, I can use those parts. So that's good. Uh, if you're asking, no, none of those graphics cards are any good to upgrade. Those are all very old and too bad. So um, hmm, might just give it a fan though, because as I remember, this one didn't have a fan. long time no see guys but i finally got time to work on those those rock a pentium e2220 if i'm not wrong like a really old slow processor two gigabytes of ram so windows 10 is definitely not fast on this i put windows 10 on it and i plan to put four gigabytes of ram in it that would help it out uh drastically it's still not great but definitely better than two so i have here one ready um, and I'll clone this one Windows image onto all of them. On one, I'll put in a 500 gig drive, which I checked, and it's actually not that f uh, frequently used, so I'm gonna use that. And on the other ones, I don't know, I'm probably gonna keep the stock ones. 
Now another thing with these computers I figured out was they have this uh, weird G4 7100 uh, graphics card, integrated graphics card, which isn't all too bad, but it's very old and it's not officially supported in Windows 10. So when you install the driver, which installs just fine, the NVIDIA driver, it has this glitch where it shows you a transparent start menu and taskbar and it's unusable. And I was like, okay, that's it, we're done. This is out of date. But no, a random user on the internet pointed out a reg registry hack where you uh, put some D word values in uh, and uh, then you have a working start menu and taskbar. I really didn't expect that it works, but I was like, hey, I have to give it a shot. I mean, it's the only chance I can get it working and check it out, it works. So this one bug is fixed. Windows 10 runs painfully slow on those two gigabytes of RAM, but it runs stable, which is surprisingly. Guys, I have the power supply for 10 bucks. Be quiet, it's even a brand. Wow. This is now the hard drive I will put into that system, which is all ready to go, except it needs its hard drive. Well, SSHD, so this is even a partial SSD, partial hard drive. Remember the times when those were still like cool? <laughs> um, and then uh, this is, has already had the thermal paste renewed. I'll clean it out a bit more, but then this is also done. I'll test it, of course I'll do, but um, it should work just fine. Uh, the cloning worked fine the first time so why should it not the second time and uh yeah the power supply goes into the one back home i forgot to say that because that's the one left back home and then we will tackle uh those three um rip out the hard drives um see how much ram we have in total and how much you need to order and clean them out and uh, yeah, take the hard drives back home where they will be cloned once again. And then we are done. Can you believe that? I can't believe it myself. Why do I keep doing this? I don't know. <laughs> so our SSHD is installed. Let's give it a shot. See if it uh, boots up. Yep, looks good, it still works. <laughs> and uh, let's see if our Windows loads yeah that's looking good hopefully no blue screens and this is as I, if i remember yep that's the power supply that i had in my collection it's an, an acer power supply as you see but it works it's quiet it doesn't make weird noises and uh yeah it looks to me as if it will boot just fine so now i will look while this is doing the device stuff here uh, I will see if I have some RAM because I don't want to necessarily order too much RAM because PC2 RAM is not the you know most high-end stuff which gets used up by my stuff. So here I have, uh, well, let's see, two gigabytes. That's looking absolutely good. Two gigabytes, look at that, we already have four. Another one. Is that PC2 another one? Yes, so we have here two, one gigabyte, and is this PC2? I guess it is. To be pessimistic and be another one. So in total, we uh, have four for that, four for that, um, three for that, and three for the one back. Ah, uh, yes, and don't forget about the optical drive. Yes, it works. Very good. <laughs> Very nice. I need to actually mark them now that I know, uh, you know, which ones have uh, which hard drive in it. So I don't confuse them. So I'm in the process currently of getting the hard drives out of those. I will uh, get the Windows 7 licenses from those because those are quite valuable and they can activate Windows 10 later and also to check their health um, and clone them if everything is good. And uh, yeah, it's quite a boring process. I'm also vacuuming, kept vacuuming the computers out and uh, making sure, you know, all the cables are good. But yeah, I don't uh, feel like recording every single one. It's quite boring. So this is number two and I have one more. And uh, yeah, 
So that's what I'm currently doing. As you see, all of them have one slot field. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we'll do. Why is this optical drive unplugged here? Uh, I didn't do that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's get this one out. So here is my box of hard drives, the old ones. And also I found this one in my shop probably showed it to you before. I'm going to check that one. It's not that old. It's from 2019. Maybe we can create like one, like with a little more storage, one terabyte, make it uh, a bit more interesting for people. So yeah, those two are done. The one I need to finish with the power supply is back home. I'll show you that later. Those three have their hard drives ripped out and cleaned and yeah, now it's time to clone, clone, clone. This is gonna be the, how is this one Star Wars movie, The Clone Wars? I mean, I don't know anything about Star Wars. I never watched it, but I know it's called like this. So is it gonna be my Clone Wars? Okay, so we're back home. And uh, here is this one PC, which so desperately needs the RAM upgrade. Here is the one two gigabyte stick that I'll put in and uh, then yeah, it should run much better. And here is where I cloned onto this 500 gigabytes, the, the operating system and all that. So yeah, uh, we'll see if that worked. And here is the remaining last um, uh, i3. And I'll put that one I bought, where is it there? This PSU in it and um, make it work and yeah finish it off and then we're almost done guys this now booted up way quicker than uh, before with its four gigabytes so that is definitely a very good upgrade for it and now i'll uh, go ahead and plug in all my other discs from the same others computers and uh, same other haha you can <laughs> and you know read the, um, the windows 7 key and then I will go ahead and clone him. Will be a whole lot of waiting around, so yeah. But uh, good so far, the cloning works perfectly. Now it's one of those cases where the nerds on Reddit always go crazy when you tell them you have a cloning device. They're always like, no, 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 don't use a cloning device. Use CloneZilla or use software and don't use this junk. Well, I don't know why it works. It, you can use whatever you like. This is pretty handy for me. It's probably not the safest option, but it's not that, you know, we have a lot of important data that could get lost. So I don't know. You should just uh, calm down a bit, I guess, but that's the internet for you. So <laughs> yeah, with this uh, stuff out of the way, let's move on. Okay, it's quite some time later. I read all the Windows 7 keys from those machines. Turns out two hard drives are bad. They're just uh, on their way out. So I threw them away. Um, this power supply works perfectly. So this computer is back together and fully functional. So this is the one be quiet power supply that I bought. So this is completely done. And this has now a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which is, it's also done. It has four gigabytes of RAM. And um, yeah, what uh, remains to do is put in those hard disks in the three other remaining computers and upgrade some RAM and that should be it guys. Well, <laughs> I thought I'd be a little lucky, but no, um, this two gigabyte RAM stick is not working. So we're left here with uh, three gigabytes in this, I suppose. I am uh, just checking if the cloning worked. Uh, the picture just went dark all of a sudden. I don't know why. Well, regardless of what's gonna happen, I will uh, put the hard drives back into the machines and upgrade the RAM as good as I can. Um, I've got here another one gig. This is probably also one and another one. So. In the worst case, we're going to have one four gigabyte machine and three three gig, or I will buy some more RAM, which I don't know if I will do right now, but 
Ah, it would be nice, I guess. I'm just gonna see what I'll do. But hey, Windows boots up, that's good. Um, so that means the cloning worked. And yeah, I'll get on with it. And you don't believe how much trouble it was fitting a two and a half inch drive into this. This is, I had to grind away this hole to make it work. And I tried all different other locations. None of them would have it. Always three and a half inch, but never ever a two. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, it's an old machine. I won't bother too much with it, but let's see if I can get a good deal on RAM. Um, and if not, they're gonna have three. I decided uh, three gigabytes, it's gonna be it. The one gigabyte stick works. And so I'm not ordering any more RAM. I actually wanna get this project done uh, now, finally. So yeah, it has three and may sound a little rude or well, but I don't think the, a buyer for a machine like that is gonna care if it has three or four. Probably they don't even know what it is. So yeah, um, it works, that's good. So uh, yeah, I can close this one off. Have to mark it somehow that this is the the one terabyte model so it's got quite plenty of storage on this one and yeah we'll move on with the other ones uh, which hopefully those two ram sticks work <laughs> this is definitely the saddest optical drive i've ever heard i don't think it's gonna work not looking too good for it. <laughs> All right, this was the one which had to disconnect the drive. Now I know why, because it makes those weird noises. Yeah, um, let's see if I have a replacement SATA drive. Uh, if not, I might even have a IDE drive, but I think it's a floppy, isn't it? Yeah, shit. Then, uh, yeah, let's see if I have one. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have any more SATA optical drives, so I'm just gonna disconnect that so that uh, nobody gets screamed at by this. But yeah, cloning worked. Three gigabytes of RAM also work, so we can call it done. Good, another one done. Let's move on to the final one. So that is the last one. I put its drive in, finished. Those were all of them. And this one also works, which is very good. So, the end, guys. Those three are the better ones. This one has a 240 gig SSD, same as this, both four gigabytes of RAM. And the, I think the top one, or is it that one? I don't know. One of these two has the 500 gigabyte SSHD, which, you know, um, it's also not that bad. And those, this is the, um, one of the two like worse ones this is three gigabyte of ram and got a three gigabyte of ram four and three so yeah so far worked out pretty well so with that out of the way guys um it was a cool project i am very glad i got all of the computers working um I'm honestly still shocked because when I picked those up, again, as I said, I thought those were trash. Those were, you know, not worth anything or very little, but I was like, at least I can get like my money back in scrap value, but I was wrong. Those three are somewhat good. So yeah, this is uh, quite a success. And those, yeah, maybe somebody can still use those for light office duty or, I don't know, something, <laughs> but they work, they run Windows 10, and yeah, I mean, what more can you ask of those old things? So, eight out of eight computers fixed with minimal budget. This is how much I spent totaling everything up, and yeah, I think I did pretty well. Now, all that's left to do is get them out of here to customers, which is probably gonna take a while, but yeah. I still enjoyed the little project. Hope you liked it too. And I'll see you in the next video.